around and went back to negative 1. So, how far have I traveled? Right. So this is negative 3 thirds and negative 11 thirds. So I moved negative 8 thirds and then I moved 8 thirds. Now, this is why I say absolute value because if you add these, you're going to get zero, which is just displacement. So what I say is, all right, I moved 8 thirds plus another 8 thirds, so 16 thirds. You got to take the absolute value of everything. So I like to draw a little diagram. I started here. I went this far this way, then I turned around and went back that same distance, and then I kind of figure out how far did I go in each direction. If you want a formula, here would be your formula. It would be S of 3 minus S of 2 absolute value plus S of 2 minus S of 0 absolute value. It's the distance, it's like each segment, the distance for each segment that you went. How do you find where it changed direction? Well, that's where velocity changed sign, right? Because mm -hmm. it's moving left and then right. Good question. Other questions? Good. Okay, is velocity, let's just, we're going to zip through just the last couple of questions. So, is velocity increasing or decreasing at d equals 2? Well, it would be... You'd have to find a of 2, a of 2 is 4, so velocity is increasing because a of 2 is positive, right? Find the velocity and position when acceleration is 0. Well, acceleration was 0 at 1, so you're just finding v of 1 and s of 1. You just plug those into your functions. All right. So all the rest of the stuff is all stuff that's straight off your quiz. But uh, these displacement things I thought you might need a little brush up on. So you might want to look that over tonight. Um, this is price for H. Why don't you like also do zero? Because velocity is when acceleration is zero. Like velocity and position are also zero. It's not asking when velocity and position are zero. It's saying find the velocity and the position when the acceleration is zero. But what if the acceleration is zero at zero seconds? Uh uh. You have an initial acceleration. Just just plug a zero into your acceleration function, and it's negative four. Right. Good. You don't have when you start. You can very easily start with an initial velocity and an initial acceleration. You don't that, you don't always start from zero. Good. All right. Um, you're packing up. We have about 10, 30 more seconds. So here's my advice to you on definition of derivative. Don't worry so much about actually being able to find the limits. Worry more about knowing the three definitions really well, okay? If you know all three definitions really well, you'll probably be fine on the definition of derivative question, all right? It's not a heavy limit problem. It's really just testing to see if you know the definitions. Like, you have to really know when you definition? Well, you need to know the difference between a general and a specific, absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, tomorrow morning, 7.45, I will be in here.